don't be fooled by White Castle's blind cult following. There are still some items you should definitely steer clear of next time you find yourself face to face with a menu at the tiny burger joint, either because they're unhealthy or because they're just plain gross. Do you have an intense hatred for onions or anything remotely onion-related? Then White Castle's beef sliders might not be for you, no matter how good you've heard they are. Sure, you can say hold the onions, but that will never remove the slider's rooted onion essence. White Castle steams its beef patties over a pile of onions. They spread onions over the grill, then put the patties on top. The distinct five holes in the meat patties are a signature of White Castle. The holes help the cooking process, which is to steam rather than grill like you would a traditional hamburger patty. The buns soak up the onion steam, too, hence the reason why they're so nice and pillowy, and also very greasy. The preparation process isn't a deal-breaker for everyone, but it probably is for the world's onion haters. What's wrong with a side of chicken rings, other than the overall principle that you shouldn't ever have the option to wear meat on your finger? First off, they contain an eye-popping 47 grams of fat and 610 milligrams of sodium. But if you really can't bear the thought of never enjoying fried chicken rib meat somehow formed into a circle, definitely put your heart first and go instead with a chicken ring slider, which contains way less fat than an entire side order of rings. Chicken rings might do a real number on your stomach, too. If you need further evidence, there's an entire Yelp review page dedicated to Chicago residents lamenting the difficulties the rings have caused for their intestines. Aside from the fact that fish nibblers sound like something you put in an aquarium for your goldfish to munch on, these fried balls of fast food fish sticks come with a whopping 1,300 milligrams of sodium. If you order a medium, excessive sodium intake on a regular basis doesn't just mean your rings won't fit, as over time it can also lead to high blood pressure. However, not everything at White Castle is a sodium bomb. A small side of french fries will only set you back 50 milligrams of sodium. 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 Well, if you don't know anything about sodium now, I don't know what else we can do for you. Yeah. White Castle uses Alaska Pollock, which is a less expensive alternative to cod or haddock for its fish nibblers. While Alaska Pollock isn't the worst fish you could eat, the way White Castle prepares it sort of jacks away all the health benefits. The nibblers are breaded and deep fried, then served with a side of packaged tartar sauce, whose fifth main ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. The White Castle Nutrition Breakdown lists over 30 ingredients in the fish nibblers, including vegetable oil shortening and something called shrimp powder. While undoubtedly delicious and sure to satisfy someone super hungry, hungover, or both, the double cheese slider combo is basically a heart attack in a sack. Just one of the double stack sliders has 17 grams of fat and 940 milligrams of sodium, and this combo comes with two. When you include the fries that come with it, the entire meal has 950 calories. But that's based on White Castle's wise decision to calculate the total calories if the drink in the combo is a small Diet Coke. If someone gets a larger, regular Coke, you can add on another 260 to 500 calories. Some options that are way healthier include the original slider, the cheese slider, or a plain savory grilled chicken slider. Bacon or sausage? What's a hungry person to do when faced with a decision so intense and so early in the morning? Well, at White Castle, you can just get both in one meal. Assuming you don't have a marathon to run the next day, it's highly unlikely you need the entire 1,130 calories that make up the two breakfast toast sandwich combo meal. Beyond the two sandwiches, which come with your choice of egg, American cheese, and either sausage or bacon, this breakfast offering includes a side of hash brown nibblers and coffee. If you're going to get breakfast at White Castle and want to save yourself some calories, order something that comes with the signature tiny buns, like the bacon, egg, and cheese slider. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!